gone out the window. We got a deadline. There's one more Easter coming. I gotta get this thing working. We got it working. Now we gotta wire three on this side, three on that side. Maybe don't solder things while it's on. This thing is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Fowler and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Woo! <laughs> All right, we are here at Home Depot. This time for the hovercraft build. I've been mentioning this a couple times. Got Chris with me. You see, where I live here on the coast of Maine, the ice takes longer and longer every year to firm up to be safe for ice fishing. But up north, the guys are posting pictures in December, nailing fish, making me super jealous. So I tried, but I fell through. And then I fell through again. So I thought, what if I made myself a hovercraft out of leaf blowers like these ones I've been seeing on the internet? Of course, I'd make mine a little bit bigger, add quite a few more leaf blowers, and then I'd be able to scoot out under the thin ice, turn it off, sit there, open a hatch in the center, drop my line down, do some early season ice fishing when the ice wasn't safe, and possibly even cross open water to safe ice to places I've never been able to get to before. So let's see if we can get some leaf blowers. I already stopped at Job Lots and bought two air beds and that's my gonna be my bladder yeah let's do some shopping whoa 50, hey hop in one of those 55 gallon. hop in let's see how it it's my new kayak it, that's the 2.0 tote float mm. I could totally we will only need four of those kayaks <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we no. Can't. I always wanted a boat. This one, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Those things are huge. Yeah, I've never seen. That. So we'll have to we'll have to try and have a kayak, like build some like kayaks and race them this year. There we go. I found it. <laughs> I think you can see that. <laughs> look at look at there it is. We just need that's a, that's a little blower. We're get, we need 45 of those. <laughs> 800 bucks. This is that digital smoker that you can hook to your phone. I got one of these coming, but Ooh. not Traeger from. Z grill, and they're sending me once. But right now, you're distracting me. Distracting. We got chainsaws, head tremors. Oh, we're getting closer. <gasps> there it is. There it is. So one is this? six of these. Are you is that it? What do you do with six leaf blowers after six. you're done with this project? Uh, well, you're gonna have it, one clean lawn, aren't you? Who says I'm ever gonna be done with this project? That's true. I'm gonna use this thing every year. One. Two, three, that's it. We need one more. <gasps> there it is, right there. Should I go for it? You want it? There we go, that's six. There you go. Thank you, sir. This is getting expensive. Not as expensive as the tote float so far. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> right, yeah, everybody's questioning why we're <laughs> buying this many leaf flowers. It's like, we're starting, Chris is like, we're starting up a landscaping business. Fowler's Makery and... Everything blows. <laughs> <laughs> is that inappropriate? Get your hardware, we need some washers, and screws, and fender washers. Why is there big washers with little holes, and little washers with big holes, but no big washers with little holes? Fender washers. That's what we need. Kind of the hunger that do it.
is over a thousand dollars already and we're not even in the water yet and hopefully we won't because that's the whole point of this whole thing right uh we might not have room you're gonna have to walk <laughs> home here Right, out into my barn where we're gonna do the work. Place is looking good. It's all emptied out for the construction to turn this into my future studio. And check out a couple clips here. This was all big deck in here and uh, all this junk was in here. Got torn out. Now it's a big open space for now. And soon, soon once the construction down below underneath the here is done, all of this side of the barn will be Bushcraft Studio. And there'll be a, a door in there to the editing rooms and the editing suites. And then website shipping and handling stuff over here, spiral staircase that goes down to the workshop. And on this end, I'll have uh, the Bushcraft desk all made out of sticks. And then over here will be like some logs and uh, stuff for like an anvil with different hammers on the wall for testing products out and their durability. That stairway will be gone because we'll have that spiral staircase. And in this corner will be knife throwing, slingshot shooting, targets. And then over here will be a fire starting section with an exhaust chimney so we can have fire starting races. When we have the late night show, bushcraft show, you know, we'll be able to have guests on in the guest chairs. And they come in just like a bushcraft letterman show kind of thing, but Fowler's bushcraft show. But enough about that, you're here because you want to see a hovercraft built. We got all our parts and pieces. Now I just got to figure out what in the world I'm going to do with them. No matter how big or how small they are, there's only really three different types of hovercraft. First is the hovercraft with a fan or blower mounted in the deck that fills the open skirt providing the lift for the hovercraft. And it also has to have some sort of a second fan that provides the maneuvering. The second type is very similar to the first, except for the propulsion fan has a scoop at the back that captures some of the air to fill the skirt to provide the lift for it, as well as the propulsion. The first two with the open skirts are the best, but it requires a large volume of air. So despite the leaf blower's claims of gas-like power, they're not that powerful. And to make the most of that power, I'm going to have them blow up kind of an inner tube with the majority of the holes facing the inner cavity creating the lift I need as the air leaks out underneath that inner tube all the way around the edges making it greasy and able to move with almost zero resistance. It's so cool up here. Oh, you'll see. Here, you take that. Let's uh, let's open them up. I know, right? That's not what's. No, that's the charger. charger. Okay. Here. This is what I want to see. Yeah. 
table too. <laughs> Want, want a better one? Yeah, grab one of the better office chairs. I'll grab mine. Alright, let's we'll see if this works first, just okay. sitting in it. Oh, just under one! If I can hold three. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> right. We turn this into a game. You gotta go around ten times and then run across the room without falling through the giant hole. Oh, I'm gonna get It's high stakes. Yep. Let's try a roll on plywood. Grab the uh, other piece. From what I saw with somebody else in one of these, that they've got three pounds of pressure of push. So the hovercraft on flat things with very little resistance and pushing against the ice and or water as we try to go across the water. I'm thinking, you know, 10 pounds or something. Maybe these are a little bigger. confidence inspiring but this isn't exactly what I want to do like in the end it's gonna have an angle cut on them and they'll be uh, closer to the thing so they'll be like this and they'll be blowing with an angle cut so that more surface of air is being pushed against the ice and against whatever you're pushing against but I did also think that the possibility is I might actually need four of these to for thrust because I have a feeling like you know one of these will blow things up blow the, the inflate the whole mess pretty easily oh, yeah. but we gotta put it together and find out let's let's see how it does at inflating things here come here noah let me see your yeah oh gosh it's so cold <laughs> it's so right. cold so it's enough to inflate noah will it be enough to inflate us i'm gonna finish my lighting and then i can start building it <sighs> that was gonna puke on the last one. That was moving. There we go. All my lights are up. Got a little distracted. Oh man, that's so awesome. I am never gonna sweep my car off again. And then got a little distracted again. That is so much faster than shoveling. It's awesome. I'll never shovel again. Now I'm back on it. Day three. Let's see if we can get this hovercraft built.
It's like those all those strings from inside coming back to bite me. I would have done better if I just started with my own material and sewn my own bag. I have to take it back to the drawing board as far as the bag's concerned and stitch this whole thing together or something. It's late, I'm tired. I'll think better in the morning. Hey, Noah. What are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> hey, you missed, you missed some stuff there. <laughs> All right, I better get back at it. Stop messing around. These things are fun though. I don't even know if you can hear me. Those things are so loud. <laughs> like little jet engines. I wonder if those are propellant. Maybe clean up my workspace. That might have been a bad idea. <laughs> there we go. So after dreaming about it all night and how to fix this, I think I need to tighten up my bag and add more holes to the bag underneath. Which means I gotta undo a lot of the work I did yesterday and I'm not gonna be able to... I thought this was gonna be like a, a six hour build and then I'd go out and goof around on it and then I can make a second video of making it work even better. And already this has taken, I don't know, I've been on this for like 14, 15 hours. But uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's see if I can make it fly. Holy cow. Look, last night when I was so bummed and it wasn't working, I never cut the plastic out. That was not inflating. I only was running on three of these. So who, I, I don't even know what, what could happen if I get a fourth one going right now. That's like hope renewed, a new hope. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine, we're all fine here now, thank you. How are you? In my rush to get away with making this version one of the hovercraft, I thought because I had four leaf blowers, I didn't necessarily need to tape my bag together. That the little seams would leak a little bit of air, but being that the ones that were online had one leaf blower to lift one person, I thought four with some leakage wouldn't be a big deal. So now I'm going back through and making plywood plates to lock down the underside of the bag. And then I'm gonna trim down the excess of the bag where it overlapped before, then flex tape it so the air only comes out where I want it to.
experimentation that day revealed that the bag was very inconsistent with its tape seams, and so most of the air just leaked out wherever those tape seams were. But as I added more holes, it started to slide around more smoothly. So by adding a ton of holes to the bag, wherever the bag made contact with the ground, it made it work just like an air hockey table. Now I just had to wire it up and give her a go. And then warming it, and you can strip it back in both directions. All right, let's do it. Where's the electrical tape? You get them stripped off and tied in so they're basically. We need to get a second one in line set up. So you got one of those taken apart? Yep, they're all ready. I think we voided the warranty on these. I'm gonna have to sell them. Slightly used, uh, wiring questionable. Use at your own risk after we put these back together. <laughs> Maybe don't solder things while it's on. Pro tip. Let me see if there's juice now. 40 DC volts is what we want because that's what one of these batteries are, so it's not doubling the voltage for anything. No, it's not doubling the okay, voltage. Good. So we're getting. Yeah, that's all. We're good. We can but, run them all yeah, but these wires are pretty thin. That doesn't hurt. It does because if it, if they're too thin, then the amount of current that travels through them will warm them up. Something. I think it sucked some of the. Yeah, no, it just sucked in some plastic pieces of wire. So we got it working. Now we got to wire three on this side, three on that side, and then four on the tiller handle so we can flip the switches. I can flip these with my toe if I put them here. This thing is going to be interesting. <laughs> has gone out the window. We got a deadline, there's a more Easter coming. Wicked heavy snow. I think we're gonna get quite the thump on the front end of this system. Easter coming, I gotta get this thing working before the end of the day and film before it gets snowy and too dark. Hopefully we get it. down to the wire and Chris is making wire too short. Now we just had a miscommunication of where we thought we were going to put the switch. What we've got here is 
failure to communicate. So I had to extend the wire. There's no Easter, I could feel it. The pressure change bearing down on me. My finger that I almost cut off years ago, I could feel the, the pulsing starting to begin. The storm is coming. And we gotta finish this. Yeah, just now that works. All right, yeah, tape them. Not even have to speed up the rate that he's working at. It looks like he's working in fast forward. <laughs> I guess he's got him. Alright, somebody come and hold this. Find a more Oh, come on. Sorry, John. On this yeah, bring the tiller over. Flip it right on there. They put an outboard on. All right. All right, Chris, hold the uh, hold it down. That's all she's got. We're giving it all she's got, Captain. <laughs> We're going to the moon. Here for the dinner. Ah! There. Oh, that looks so sick. Outside of <laughs> it's kind of cool. Build up to do. Either it'll work or it won't right now. Oh, we shouldn't do this you want just to. yet because we don't know where that needs to sit on the ice. But we're good. We know it's going to work. We got the screws for it. We're ready to go to the ice. All right, keep holding it, everybody. Yeah, I'll put. All right. Slide that off of there. Ready to go downstairs, isn't it? Yep, take her out to the truck or the car. Whatever I own. You got it now? Yep. Go, no, go. Yeah, no. Uh... Chris, you want to bring a uh, bag of tools and stuff? Bring some stuff that you think we might need into a box right there? Yep. Is it heavy? It's not it's like... too... I mean, yesterday I was flipping it. Oh, go slow, watch out. The bear bag's almost caught on those nails. Oh, one second. Oh, you got Sorry, it? Chris. Yep. Keep going. It was just, just a hard, it was a hard step. It was just a little time. Yeah, Zach, really freak off. <laughs> <laughs> I love being in the middle when it comes to carrying stuff. <laughs> there we go. Marissa hurts. Alright. We gotta probably not uh you can go how about like go all the way to the front? There we go. Yeah, I think it does. Perfect. Barely. We well, did it. She's in. Step one. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> I put all this time in and I'm like, yeah, one strap. You know, <laughs> that's good. It's just, you know, throw the access around that. <laughs> Wait, did we almost lose the ratchet strap? It wasn't it even wasn't hooked even on connected. Like oh, cool, 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 cool. It's sitting there. Zach, do you want to work on it up here? Nope, then... let's put it right down onto the ice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, go ahead. No. <laughs>
<laughs> Should start right on this hill, get a running start. What do you what do you ladies think? I think it's so cool. I'm gonna I might even just walk on it, it's so cool. Oh that hat has built-in goggles. You got built-in goggles? Let me see. Oh cool, and you look like Spider-Man. Alright, short screws now I do need it. But um, like two of them to mount this. There we go. Alright, now and move you push down on that drum. No, nope, move the bag. No. Alright, let her up. Right there. That's where we want it. Wow. Judge that sure just straight out. Just right. Is this okay to stand on? Yeah. Okay. I think so. We'll find out. Got it. <laughs> Make sure we only put six of the cut ones on these. Do you want the same? They have to be the cut ones that go on here. Yeah. All right, predictions, everybody? Oh, she's going to work. She's going to work? What do you think, Sparrow? Is it going to work? Yeah. How's that snow? If it doesn't work, it was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a YouTube channel, it's never a waste of yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> Just share it's your a learning treasures. process. What did... uh? I, uh, it's a waste of time. Einstein or one of those guys say? Just learned a, a hundred ways not to do it. You got it. We'll go with that. Because my failures are what made me who I am today. I didn't really fail all those times I tried to invent the light bulb unsuccessfully. All I did was find 10,000 ways that don't work. <laughs> Woo! She's gonna work! I right, think so. The the They're in the. Nope, you can't Box use that there. one. You can't use that one. Oh, okay. All right. Dear Jesus, help us to work really good and to be super fun. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, here we go. Moment <laughs> of truth. You want to flick it on? Abby, go on the other side. You turn on the other one. Okay. All right, you guys not to hop on this time. I'll let you have a ride on it after I try it. <laughs> after all Dad's work. Go ahead, here, flip the switch. It. Hold it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Woo! Classic hot switch situation. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh. Like good on your already moved. I know. It was still, I kept going and stuff like glare ice. If this was so good. If this was glare ice, I could have kept going. I was thinking like the biggest problem is, is the propulsion. We're like, we're not, we're not getting enough push forward. It, it glides along just fine, but it just doesn't have enough grab with four of them blowing on the snow. 
Yeah, if you're standing on it like this. I feel this. like if I had a fan that was on the back of this thing, yeah. I'd be ripping across this lake. Like yeah. one of your subscribers? Not one of my subscribers, <laughs> a fan. I mean a fan, like a twirling fan, you know? Oh, cool. Get the Girls, girl. look at the bald eagle. It's coming for you. Over there. There it goes above the trees. Oh, that's a majestic video clip right there that will definitely make the cut for sure. <laughs> Are you guys ready for your run? Are you been practicing? Yeah, they call me Peter McKinnon. I think we should take it like over that hill or something. What do you guys think of that? That was awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Even though I had snow in my face a few times, it was awesome. <laughs> what do you think, Sparrow? I made it. <laughs> She's up here making a snowman. Doesn't even know what's going on. What are you doing? How'd you like your ride? Nice. Yeah, fun. You know, but I know she's actually important for your life. I like making all them. Never said nothing. Why? Why I make all and make funny things? It's because I like make people laugh and well inspire them. Okay, I'll be here. Oh yeah? I bet tons of people are inspired by you as you grow up. All right, John, let's get some B-roll. That's it, that's all she wrote. The switch burnt out. The, uh, so we had to pull the batteries on the back. We got two runs of batteries. What do you think we got? Time-wise? We've probably been out here running this thing for 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, so we got, but with two sets of batteries. Yeah. So, so she's got about a 15 minute run time, just like a drone. I almost think it would do better on open water because there'd be like no resistance to the snow piling up, right? Yeah, yeah. but I, I just don't think that that's the case. I think that water would get up into the holes, even with the oh, air pushing yeah. it out, no. and then you'd... No. It's constant. We, now we gotta it test should've. it. We gotta test it. <laughs> open water, next test. Stay tuned. Open water during the winter time. Because you'd actually have more push, because these would be pushing against water. Yeah. Or instead of just pushing <laughs> against the like, surface, you get more pushback. The electronics might not like all the splashing, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, how long would they last? <laughs> this might need to be covered. We well, really got to test it. I mean, that was the whole point of this thing right from the beginning, is to be able to cross. This is why we're down at Seven Tree. I wanted to cross that open water out there to get to the other side of the lake where better ice fishing was. All right, in conclusion, uh, did I meet my goals? Did I achieve what I set out to do? Yes. Uh, did I manage to do it with uh, what I initially thought to? No, I took four more leaf blowers than I thought it would. And the bigger problem was the propulsion. These just weren't powerful enough to really put me up to any sort of speed. Even though the six of them was enough to make it greasy and slide around really well, these just don't have the push I needed. But after watching Peter Shreepole's channel where he does a fan powered, just a regular kid's sled, I think it's more than possible to get that same kind of unit, put it on the back of this, and be able to have the lift I need and the fan power to really whip around the lake fast. With a fan, I would be able to get out, accomplish uh, crossing some water, get to the other side of somewhere, park and ice fish a bunch, and get back, I think, more than safely, knowing that it has a short range. I'm not gonna go take a weekend long trip on it. Leave in the comments below, should I try to cross that open water or maybe take it for a little run out on the ocean just the way it is now? Do you think it'll float or are you gonna need some sort of other power system or more blowers? I mean, it floated really good on the ice. One of the things I definitely have to do for a 2.0 is waterproof my wiring and find the right kinds of switches. I don't really know anything about wiring except for when I hooked two wires together by process elimination, I got these all to work on one switch. But as you saw when we were out there, she fried. I think the best part of all this is just how much I learned doing this. I learned a ton of things not to do, but I learned a ton of really neat things about how all of this is gonna work. And I'd really love to do a 2.0, maybe even a 3.0, 4.0 at some point down the road and having a really awesome rig, a floating magic carpet or to have this capability of getting out on the water during those times of year when it's not hard water yet and she's still not just, just wet water. Kinda nailed it, but I did end up spending way more than I meant to. With the four more leaf blowers and batteries, a second battery pack for all these so we didn't go out and then get one short run time out of it and then have to come back and charge them, meant I spent around $3,000 altogether on this whole project. Yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. If you're thinking of anything that I'm missing, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe because we're almost at a million subscribers. Hoping to hit that soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out. What do you do with six leaf blowers after?